Hey, first to click that thumbnail. Today, we're taking a look at three variants of Deepcool's LS720 SE AIOs, and that includes the latest variant, the LS720 SE Zero Dark. We're gonna be pairing all of those up with a very hot CPU, and we're gonna see if those AIOs can cool it down. And just to make things even more interesting, we're gonna throw in the latest and greatest AIO from Deepcool, that's their Mystique 360. So whether you already have a Deepcool cooler and are thinking of upgrading or are new to the brand and are wondering if their coolers are right for you, I hope this video is useful. First things first for similarities, all of the LS720 SE AIOs discussed here are using a 4th gen pump, whereas the Mystique is using a 5th gen pump. Generally, each generation of pump is able to circulate more liquid or more fluid faster through the AIO theoretically improving performance, making things cool down faster. All of the AIOs covered here are compatible with all modern systems. So for AMD, that's AM4 and AM5. For Intel, that's LGA1700, 12100, 1150, 1151, and 12100. Now the difference among the three LS720 SEs is mostly aesthetic. Starting with the base model, LS720 SE. This comes with ARGB and the CPU block has an infinite mirror design. It's nicely curved around its blocky edges and it both looks premium and doesn't look overly ostentatious. Di siya sobrang flashy. So it's RGB done tastefully. Second, the LS720 SE Digital, of which we have the white version on hand, has an LED screen. And on that LED screen, you can see at a glance basic performance metrics of your computer, such as its current CPU temperature. Now for my own personal rig, I'm also using one of the digital lines from Deepcool, the air cooler AK620. And from personal experience, I can tell you, sobrang useful na makikita mo yung information na yan, lilingon ka lang, nandun na siya. No need to click any buttons, no need to bring up any windows, just glance at your computer and that basic information is already there. Third, the latest variant of the LS720 SE line is the Zero Dark model. As the name implies, there is no RGB, perfect for stealth builds, for more understated looks. The CPU block does away with the infinite mirror design and replaces it with a cap with both a glossy and alternating matte finish. Perfect for an upscale kind of computer, maybe one that a professional might want to have in his office compared to a lot of the bling bling of some of the other models on the market. Looking at the LS720 SE Zero Dark, the question that pops into my mind is which X-Man would choose this as their AIO? And I think it would be Wolverine, kind of austere, no muss, no fuss performance that still looks aggressive. On the other hand, I can see Gambit choosing something like the LS720 SE Digital. A bit more flashy, a bit more flamboyant. Di ko rin alam bakit X-Men yung naisip ko when looking at these AIOs as a point of comparison. But the new revived cartoon series is out and I did just see the trailer. Tapos parang bagay naman sa personalities ng mga tinukoy ko. And our surprise entrant in this LS720 SE Roundup is a bit imba because it's not from that line at all. It's the latest AIO from Deepcool, the Mystique 360, which has the latest 5th gen pump and uses F12 SE fans. It has a sharper screen than the LS720 SE Digital. It's an LCD screen with a 640x480 resolution. The intention is the same for you to be able to see performance metrics at a glance, but this screen is much sharper. And built into the Mystique 360 is a gyroscope, so it automatically senses how it's oriented and if you mount it in a different direction, it will automatically change the positioning of the screen to match that position. Again, sounds like a simple thing, but it's super useful. If you've done any kind of work with AIOs, you know that it can sometimes be difficult to mount it in a position. And the built-in gyroscope does away with all of that guesswork. Mount it any which way you like and then the AIO will take care of the rest. That's just a short preview of the Mystique 360. We'll be covering it more in a future video. But for now, enough yammering. Let's get to the performance. So we tested all AIOs with a 7800X 3D CPU, one of the latest AM5 CPUs. It does run hot. It's expected to run hot to get its max performance. So a good choice to measure against these large 360mm RAD AIOs that we have. We installed our test bench in Deepcool's Morpheus case, another item that we'll be reviewing very shortly. 
To ensure consistency, we use Noctua's NTH1 thermal paste with all of the AIOs. Finally, our torture software slash temperature inducer was Cinebench R24. We did two passes on each AIO and measured the max temp reached as well as the average temperature recorded. Initially, there were no surprises as the LS720 SE Digital and the LS720 SE Zero Dark both had very similar results. Both showed the same max temps reached of 75.6 and 74.8 in both tests. Average temps for these two coolers were also almost identical. These numbers are very good for a 7800X3D running at 100% load. The CPU does run hot, but at sub 80 degree temperatures, indeed around 75 degrees even at max temperatures, you can see that the AIOs perform very well. They can keep up with the heat and are able to dissipate it quickly. No performance throttling noticed. The outlier in our performance test was the base LS720 SE. Now this is basically the same hardware, so you'd think that it would be around the same performance as the LS720 Digital and LS720 Zero Dark. But that wasn't the case. Performance was still good, but it ran noticeably hotter compared to the other two variants. Unfortunately, we were under a little time pressure as we had to give back the CPU. It's not easy to find those high-performance CPUs. So we were unable to run the test continuously on this LS720 SE. In my opinion, if we were able to run more tests, I believe the average temperature or the average reading that we got from this AIO would go down to around the same level as we saw with the other two variants. But to be upfront, we weren't able to do those tests and we're reporting this little anomaly to be transparent and make the comparisons a little starker. The coolest cooler, and it's not really a surprise, is the Mystique 360 as it does have one generation pump higher than the LS720 SE models. There is a noticeable bump in performance with the Mystique 360. The hottest temperature we recorded with that AIO was only 72.6 degrees with the coolest average temperature of only 70.8 degrees. So just at the border of 70, tantalizingly close to a sub-70 performance. And that's on 100% load on a 7800X3D. So where does that leave us or how does that help the consumer? If you're looking for the coolest performing AIO with all of the bells and whistles, then that's certainly the Mystique 360. But if you're looking for a particular kind of look with just slightly lower performance and at a cheaper price, the LS720 SE series has a lot of variants available. And they run the gamut from no RGB at all to full bling RGB to the very useful digital displays where you can see your performance. It's easy to find something that you would like among the LS720 SE variants. So if you're digging the look of one of those variants, you can opt to go with that. The performance is not that far off from the Mystique 360 and you could save yourself some money. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.